following announcement has been paid for by the content and the intention of Evo. What are Evo's core values? Let's find out. On the Evo Japan stream, Team Ninja, the developers of Dead or Alive, a franchise known for its sexualized female characters, showed off some gameplay from the latest entry in the franchise, Dead or Alive 6. Previous teasers for the game, as well as developer statements, had claimed that this game would be toning down the fanservice elements that the series was known for, but this event proved to be the complete opposite. To cut straight to the chase, Team Ninja invited a pair of Japanese models on stage to help promote the game, they got pretty frisky with their promotional techniques, and the head honcho of EVO, Joey Quellar, better known as Mr. Wizard, cut the stream off early. He then issued an apology in both video and tweet form to anyone who might have been offended by the stream, and stated that the stream was shut off because it did not represent EVO's core values. This has led to a lot of debate regarding what is and isn't part of EVO's core values, and I'd just like to give my opinion on the whole thing. For me, professionalism is a big thing when it comes to the workplace, and in some ways, there shouldn't be any exception to that at EVO, and there should be some standards that presentations should be held to. But on the other hand, look at what else EVO promotes. Mortal Kombat 11, arguably the goriest game ever created to date. So the way I see it, why is this... ...allowed, but this... ...isn't. How many EVO viewers would be disturbed by this, but be okay with this? You see what I'm saying? It hardly makes sense to shut down one over the other when both could easily be called controversial, and if the casters presenting their games weren't allowed this kind of performance, perhaps they should have been told in advance, rather than having their broadcast cut off out of nowhere. For me, it's not about the fan service or the gore at all, it's about the hypocrisy we're seeing from EVO itself, and the answer to all of it, in my opinion, is money. EVO has a history of bashing or hyping up games based on monetary potential, this was best exhibited when Mr. Wizard cut Marvel Infinite from EVO USA, despite a large number of professional players and fans alike saying they were willing to show up and play it. His excuse for omitting Marvel Infinite in favor of Dragon Ball Fighters was that Marvel Infinite didn't have enough of an engaged, active player base. The real reasoning behind this was probably a lot more simple. Dragon Ball Fighters was more popular and thus more lucrative for EVO in general. Now don't get me wrong, I have nothing against a business or company making the decision that's the most profitable for them. What I do have a problem with is the dishonesty we saw back then and that we're seeing again. Dead or Alive is a smaller franchise than Mortal Kombat, which is why DOA's sexualization doesn't align with EVO's core values, yet Mortal Kombat 11's over-the-top gore apparently does. At this point, the answer is plain to see. EVO's core values are money and greed, and they're using virtue signaling and moral grandstanding to try and paint themselves as the good guys here. However, it's going to be hard for them to hold that high ground when they're praising Mortal Kombat in the same breath, and that goes double for all the gaming media sites that will no doubt rush to EVO's defense like they always do. Personally, I think that the fan reaction is a long overdue comeuppance for the greedy, self-righteous people who are behind so much of the media and promotion that we gamers see every day. It's about time that they learn that we won't stand for hypocrisy and greed being used as an excuse to censor us and label us. Either you allow extreme gore and extreme fan service, or you don't allow either. Might be time to pick a side, Evo, because that third option is not looking good for you.